All right, video number two of the first homemade waste vegetable oil processing for eventual use anyway. Oh man, it's dark. I discovered that uh, as you first saw in the first video that the pressure kept going down and it's because the used carbonator pump, I was a dum-dum and I did not check it. Uh, to make sure it was cleaned, which is bad. And uh, when I cleaned it out using some uh, good old Amway LOC multi-purpose cleaner, which works wonderful, by the way. Contact me if you're interested. It uh, works very well for cleaning the oil off it. Works very well for just all-around cleaning. I, I really, really like it. Anyway, um, it had a lot of gunk and rust in it from its former life, which I'm... Um, Pretty disappointed about, but uh, that made me uh, wonder why that's why they trashed it in the first place because it wasn't put enough pressure in it in the original system that it was in. But, anyways, um, the uh, obviously you see that it's a, 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 a jerry rig configuration, which is not safe whatsoever. But with it being for 250 psi a pump, and uh, it'll do about two gallons an hour, so I'm gonna get another uh, Pacific biodiesel. A centrifuge and double up so that way one I can process the gallon the tank in a half an hour or an hour anyway so I can go through twice and uh, actually let me see uh, yeah I'll go through twice at least so I can polish it but after about five minutes of my original mess um, I took it off and the oil I had was pretty clean anyway but uh, the uh, as you can see there it's pretty well pretty well gunk or pre pretty well uh, it's uh, been uh, shaking around pretty well. There's no water in it, which is good. So I need to make sure that there's no water in it. And lesson number three is uh, don't use tubing that is not meant for vacuum. This clear tubing that you see here, which it was pretty cool to watch the, the, the uh, oil to go through it and all that good mess, it started capsizing. And uh, that started causing some problems. And the uh, pump was straining and it wasn't doing too well. Normally the pump was running pretty quiet when I came in here the first time. Uh, before I made the video, the first video, it was uh, doing pretty good. Then I came back again to shoot the video and that's why I was all loud was because the, uh, um, the tube was capsizing. But as you see here, you got rags and you saw the rag on me. But anyway, like I said, it's a pretty good setup and uh, I'm excited to do that. Oh, lesson number four. Don't smoke around your operation uh, for base vegetable. As you see here, it's kind of hazy. And uh, with, the, uh, with the processing through the centrifuge, uh, you probably can't see it very well. But with the processing through the centrifuge, uh, it creates uh, an oil mist, which you really don't want to have because uh, it is combustible. Remember that. And it will combust right around 500 degrees. I don't know what the exact temperature is, but it will combust. So don't smoke around it but anyways uh more to come and i uh, hope you enjoyed the video